I actually have surgery on my shoulder on Monday. I'm looking for a guy with snackies. The James analysis of that run. Oh, ball feet. Right. Have you got a lower gear so you can accelerate harder? Inappropriately close filming. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are at Bike Park Wales. I know, shock horror, we like it here. And the aim for today is to session some jumps. I've got a really limited time on the bike before our Whistler trip because I actually have surgery on my shoulder on Monday and I really want to get more comfortable on larger jumps before we go to Whistler. So today I'm going to be focusing on getting deeper into the landings on the main line of A470 and hopefully ticking off a few bits further down. I've got my top tier coach here. Deep to help me. So he's going to give me a little toe, get deeper into some of the landings and then I'm going to go solo and he's going to push me down the trail. Most of them, you were like a bike length in. Sweet, that's what we want. Like, yeah. And that means when you misjudge it, you're like, oh, I came up a bike length short, which is a huge misjudgment. Like, oh, I'm in the landing. Yeah, exactly. That's good. All right, pay attention to Fran this time. Don't get distracted by Fran. laps are actually going pretty well. I've been going nice and deep into the landings with James following me so I'm judging it on my own speed so that's sick. So we're going to have a little look at the next bit now which is a table, a gap, another little gap, another table. So they're a little bit bigger than this main straight and you've got to pedal into the first one which is a little bit more challenging than just flowing down in a straight line but we're going to use James as my uh, speed test. What? Okay. Because basically he's my cheat code, he's better than me, so why don't I use that to my advantage? He's got the knowledge, he knows the speed, so I'm going to get a tow because I'm not going to just guess these things on my own. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Right, we're done on imaginary bugs. I think so. Oh, there's a real there's one. There's real ones, I told you. Right, so down there there's jumps, and you're going to do exactly what you did on these jumps. On those jumps. And you remember that you know how to ride a bike and you know how to do jumps. Yes. Let's go. Okay, so table, gap, corners, table, a gap table. I'll follow you. Yeah, corner, long low table, step downy gappy thing. Yeah. Not very big. Nope. S bend. Yeah, skipper. Off the brakes rails, yeah, skipper gap, long low table. Yeah, go balls deep into the landing. Okay, balls. Right. Oh no, you picked up right at me. Right, okay. Let me ride a bike. Oh yeah. Yeah, okay. So I'm pretty impressed with that, to be honest, for me, for a first hit. I didn't freak out. I um, just committed and went for it. I cased the first jump, admittedly, but you do have to pedal quite hard out of the corner if you're dropping in just from there. So I think in a full run, that'd be much easier or just actually, if a rock didn't fall out at me, maybe stick in a couple of yeah, extra cranks rock, in. The rock pop. But um, that being said, I'm stoked for the tow. It really helped. Yeah, we're going to go up and have another go and hopefully I can make it over the fourth jump this time because I did actually pull out. So yeah, let's go and have another rip. Pedal harder. Fran has finished briefing me on things I'm not allowed to say while we're recording. And now I'll pedal in. I heard 
screaming, but it was a good scream. I mean, I didn't clear it by a long shot, but I was quite far. Okay, so I've had a couple of hits now following James down through these next four jumps that you've just seen. And James is now going to go behind me and push me down it. And this is actually really handy for me because James will pick up on things following me that I don't quite know I'm doing. So if there is a few things in my technique that need ironing out, he's really good at giving me feedback on that. And then I can implement that on my next run. We're gonna get the uh, the James analysis of that run. So you could pedal harder into the first jump. Yeah. I think you looked pretty good, but I knuckled it for sure. I did not. Uh, yeah, that. yeah, but I think your technique looked okay, okay if I remember correctly. But your speed, like just more angrier pedals. Have right. you got a lower gear so you can accelerate harder? Well, I mean, it might be a challenge. Pedal that gear, but harder then. Right. Okay. So pedal aggressively. Same technique. Yeah. And then in the S bend, the most fun way of doing it is no brakes. Okay. But, that, but if you um. That might be too ambitious. Yeah. So instead of going in fast and then panic braking and losing all your speed. Yeah, that is what I did. Do a tiny little like psychological break. In between the S's or uh, just before? I think just before. So you get used to the idea that you do the whole S bend, no brakes. Like, yeah. So you do a little bit of braking to give yourself confidence, slowing down one to 2%, basically just to like, that's an official measure. And then you'll cruise through that S real nice. Obviously you didn't mention the step down. That was good. Yeah. Perfect something right <laughs> so a little break before the f bend so i'm more comfortable around the corners and then no breaks on the next two yeah perfect okay you just go deep go deep the big one. it's the most fun way oh no i'm having a crash crash cancelled right go 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 So far I'm pretty happy with the progress on the next four jumps. James did pick up on that last run there that I'm not looking around the S bend. So on this next run, I'm going to focus way more on looking up and where I'm going around the corner. And hopefully that should give me that bit more speed that I need for the next feature. Wild. I can get it. So that was the first time I've linked the main straight to these bottom four jumps today. Well, ever. So I'm actually really happy with how that went. I think that that is a good place for me to leave these jumps for today. You know, progression, it doesn't happen overnight. You can't expect to just come out and smash everything each time. But to be 95% of the way there on some jumps that kind of intimidated me, I'm really, really pleased with. I'm very fortunate to have James who's super supportive and give me advice and give me a toe. It really does help with my progression. So stoked that he could help me with that and yeah I think that's a good place like I say to leave these jumps today. After these next four jumps they do lip up quite a bit so there's quite a big step in progression from the top half to the bottom half of A470. These jumps are quite a bit more kicky so I want to be 100% sure and confident in my technique before I hit these. I don't think they're that far out of reach but definitely not one for today when I have surgery in like three days time. I don't want them to do any unnecessary fixes on me so yeah we're going to watch James come down now. He's going to do a long jump on this and I think he's going to whip that so we'll stick that in the vlog as well. I'm looking for a guy with snackies. Haribo. Cliff Bar. 
Caribou. Cliff Bar. <laughs> Inappropriately close to it side by side. Okay. <laughs> 